What's going on guys, this is Brian with Some Men's Comics in collaboration with comicbookinvest.com and in this video I'm going to give you my weekly picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, August 21st, 2019. Now if this is your first time here, we do a lot of comic and pop culture related content on this channel, so please make sure you subscribe and click that bell notification so you'll always be notified when future content is released. Some really good comics coming out this week, I'm very excited for some of these titles, so with that being said, let's get into the picks. Kicking the week off from Dark Horse, we have Strayed number one. This is going to be a space fantasy comic book where a person named Kiera and an astral projecting cat, it's up to them to save humanity. There's going to be a regular cover by Juan Doe, as well as a regular priced variant. And sticking with Dark Horse this week, we have Trout Hollow West Knock number three. I can't say enough good things about this story. Definitely recommend you pick it up if you haven't started reading it, but fun, Wacky, and just one heck of a read, so highly recommend this title. Getting into DC books, we get Batman number 77. With the last of the independent villains on the run, Bane has total control over Gotham and keeping other heroes out. They must rely on Batman to stand up and roll up his sleeves and get to work. He's gonna have two different covers. There's a regular Tony S. Daniel cover, as well as a regular price Clayton Crane variant. I like the regular cover on this one because it's got Batman and it also has Gotham Girl on there. Next up, we get Superman Year One, number two. That's right, written by Frank Miller. That alone is enough for me to pick this up. And this is gonna have two different covers for it as well. We have a regular John Romita Jr. cover, as well as a regular priced Frank Miller variant. The only thing I don't like about this book is it's one of those oversized books. But if that doesn't bother you, it's Frank Miller, y'all. Next, we get Teen Titans, number 33. And this issue, Robin goes after the mole that let prisoners out of his secret prison and Lobo makes a deal with Lex Luthor. We have a regular Bernard Chang cover for this, as well as a regular price Alex Garner variant. No secret, I've been talking about how much I love those Alex Garner covers, so that's the one I'll be picking up this week as well. Moving on over into IDW, we get Canto number three. If you've watched Simple Man's Comics channel, we, you know myself and a co-host on a lot of my shows, Jack DeMeo and indie spotlight writer Andy Tomlin are super high on, are super high on this title, really fun read. David Booer, Drew Zucker, creators on this title. We had them on the show to talk about this book. Number three comes out this week. There's also a one in 10 incentive variant, as well as a third print for Canto number one and a second print for Canto number two. Excellence number four. This is the title that was rumored to be picked up by Amazon for a show. And in this issue, New York is rocked by a massive wizard duel. We have a regular cover by Carrie Randolph, as well as a regular priced variant by Johnny Christmas. Next, we get Pretty Violent number one. This is a new series from Image Comics where it's got a young girl who wants to be a superhero, but her whole entire family is nothing but violent criminals. Kind of has a little bit of a hit girl vibe to it, but looking forward to picking this up. And it's going to have a regular cover by Derek Hunter, as well as a regular priced variant by Ryan Otley. I like the Otley cover on this, but a lot of independence, if you're looking for speculation value, seems to be the cover A that always takes off. So either way, I'm actually going to pick up both covers for this title this week. Weatherman number three. This is another book I can't say enough good things about. This book also tends to have a smaller print run, which I don't really understand because this is one fantastic book. I know I keep saying this, but if this is another one if you haven't been reading it. Definitely recommend you give it a try, especially start with volume one or volume two. We are in volume two right now with issue number three, and it's gonna have a regular Nathan Fox cover, as well as a regular price Andrew Robinson variant, and one of my personal favorites, a regular priced Stephanie Hans variant. If I can get Stephanie Hans variant at a regular price, I'm definitely picking that up. Getting into Marvel, we get Absolute Carnage versus Deadpool number one. Now, if there's mayhem to be had, you know it's going to be in this title because Absolute Carnage and Deadpool, nothing good can come out of this, and I can't wait to read it. This is going to have six different covers for it. It's going to have a regular Tyler Kirkham cover, a regular priced Rob Liefeld connecting variant, a regular priced Pascal Ferry variant, a regular priced Dan Panosian variant, a 1 in 25 Clayton Crane Codex variant, and an incentive Pascal Ferry Virgin variant. Next up, we have, of course, my favorite read from Marvel right now, and we're talking about Daredevil number 10. I don't think I need to say too much on here because I'm always saying how much I'm loving Chip Zdarsky's run, but the last issue kind of left us with Matt Murdock questioning his religion, but we'll see where issue number 10 picks up, and this is going to have two different covers for it. We have a regular Tedesco cover, as well as a regular priced Bring on the Bad Guys variant. I really wish they would have came up with a better name than Bring on the Bad Guys, but 
Can't do Year of the Villain now, can they? Either way, Daredevil is a great read. I'm going to continue to pick this up. And if you aren't, this is one I definitely recommend you start doing. Pick it up and trade at least. Yeah, pick it up. Next, we have Fearless number two. Read the first issue. It was kind of like, meh, still enjoyable to read, but I'll continue to pick it up for now. Besides, it's got two different covers for it, and both are fantastic. We have a regular cover by Yasmin Putri, as well as a connecting variant by Jenny Friesen, two of the hottest comic book artists right now. Next, we get the kickoff issue for Ghost Spider number one. That's right. Now has the new code name of Ghost Spider, and we're getting the first issue in that series, where we get Gwen Stacy traveling to Earth 616. Not only does she travel to Earth 616, but she gets her first villain there as well. This issue's gonna have three different covers for it. There's a regular price Jorge Molina cover, a one in 25 Carlos Gomez variant, as well as a one in 50 Joe Casada variant. Next up, we continue the death of Rocket Raccoon in Guardians of the Galaxy number eight. The first issue really kicked off this arc really well, so I'm super excited to pick up this next issue, and it's gonna have three different covers for it. We get a regular Mike Henderson cover, a regular price Bring On The Bad Guys variant by N. Hyuk Lee, as well as a Marvel 80th Frame variant by Chris Stevens. Next up, we have one of the hot titles of our Marvel right now, and we're talking about Marvel Comics Presents number eight. This issue, we get Marvel history reaching the current decade. We got the big Wolverine story that everyone's following right now as well as Spider-Woman battling disinformation on social media, and an all-new story featuring Korea's own superhero, White Fox. This is gonna have two different covers for it. There's a regular Arthur Adams cover, as well as a regular price Gerardo Sandoval cover. Next, we get Marvel Tales X-Men number one. This comic's gonna reprint X-Men number 58, Fallen Angels number two, and Uncanny X-Men number 272. It's gonna have a regular cover, as well as an Incentive Virgin variant both by Jen Bartel. Next, this has gotta be probably one of the biggest titles in Marvel right now. And we're talking about Jonathan Hickman's latest masterpiece. And we are talking about Powers of X number three. Fully admit, not a huge X-Men fan, but I did jump on with House of X and Power of X. And I'm actually really enjoying the story. At first I thought it was just a lot of hype. It is hype and it's for a good reason because these books are flipping awesome. And it's great to look forward to as a reader because you're always getting House of X or Powers of X. So it's something to look forward to every week. It is gonna have eight different covers for it. We have a regular RB Silva cover, a regular price John Tyler Christopher action figure variant, a regular price character decades variant by Bangle, a regular price connecting variant, a regular price new character variant, a regular price Scotty Young variant, a regular price Mike Huddleston variant, and an incentive RB Silva Virgin variant. Bad reception number one. This comes from Aftershock Comics. It's the wedding of the century that takes place at an undisclosed remote location. No access to Wi-Fi, no cell signal, nothing but just the wedding itself, which is great until guests get killed off one by one by a serial killer who is branding them with a hashtag. This to me has Lionsgate horror film written all over it, but looks like a fun read. Love Aftershock Comics. It's gonna have a regular cover by Juan Doe, as well as a one in 10 incentive variant by Paul Azaceda. Also this week from Scout Comics, we get Category Zero number four. This is probably my favorite title to read from Scout right now. Fantastic read, I say it each and every time this book comes out. It's always in my weekly picks. Adam Camille, who writes this book, one of the nicest guys, always interactive on social media. Just for that alone, it's well worth supporting him for picking up this book, and that's why it's in my weekly picks, and that's why I'll continue to pick this up. And from Source Point Press, we continue the train rolling with Dead End Kids number two. First issue took off like gangbusters, was a great read, and it also seemed to be under-ordered at a lot of stores, so supply couldn't meet up with demand, and the book took off on the secondary market. I think not just because the supply was low, but it's a great story. Dead End Kids number two comes out this week, so I highly recommend you guys pick it up. And if it's not available at your stores, you guys need to start pre-ordering these books, either online, get your store to pick them up, or check out Source Point Press's site. Sometimes they sell them on there, or they also give locations that have some available. Next up, we get Faithless number five. This is one book that's got a lot of attention from its racy erotica covers, but the story's just as great too. It involves a teenage girl that falls deeper, deeper into corruption and into the grips of hell. This is gonna have three different covers for it. We have a regular cover by Paul Pope, a polybagged erotica variant by Becky Cloonan, and a regular price variant as well. Next up, we have Psycho List number one. This comes from Black Box Comics, and it's about a former FBI agent who's turned therapist and can't seem to keep himself out of 
his patients' lives. That is, until the FBI comes calling for him and need his skill set for a special case. Looks like an interesting suspense type story. Definitely looking forward to picking this up. But one thing to note, we are seeing listings already for pre-sales at $60. To me, that's astronomical. And if people are paying it, I think that's just plain nuts. But that also makes this book something to keep an eye on and see how it does on New Comic Book Day. So there you have it, guys. Those are my picks for new comic books that are coming. So there you have it, guys. Those are my picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, August 21st, 2019. As always, comment down below. Let me know what books you guys are picking up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe to this channel because we always have new videos releasing. And it's time for the question of the day. We always hear debates between graded comics and raw comics. People don't like getting graded comics because they want to keep their hands on the comic and be able to read it at any time they want. But you also hear, hey, a graded comic, it's being graded by a third party individual. It's encased to protect that grade. What are your thoughts? Are you for graded comics or against graded comics? Comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. And this is Brian with Simple Man's Comics. And I'll see you guys next week.